Hey, what's going on out there, YouTube fam? This is Sammy Leg here representing Team JVS. I'm back again for another review for Lovecraft Country. This is episode seven. I am. Now, this episode, I'm. This wasn't my favorite. <laughs> we'll break it down in full detail, spoiler details. Uh, me and Lucas a bit later on in the week. You'll see this on Sunday. Either way, so you'll catch it. But. I'm going to talk about the things I liked about this episode, and I'm talking about the things I didn't like about this episode. Um, I think that everything that was going on with Montrose Freeman from uh, uh, Michael uh, Kenneth Williams, as well as, of course, Jonathan Mayers as Atticus, their, you know, falling out in this episode was very strong. It was very good. It was it was powerful almost because, you know, you get the understanding that the reason why he was so, you know, the way he is towards uh, Atticus is is an inadequacy complex within himself, and he's projecting. And you know, even when you know talking, like. Uh, Montrose breaks down like because he already you know was there with um, his partner Samuel and it was just it was no way around it and I think what thing that hurt Atticus the most is that did did mom know and she did and it was just like I don't know it was such a really powerful sequence and to be quite honest with you in this episode I think they could have just focused in on Montrose's journey, um, and I, 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 I'm gonna say this. This is gonna sound so bad. From the beginning of the episode, it started off with Letty. You know, she went in in a dream or whatever, and she went through the same exact thing the Atticus went through. It's getting really gimmicky. Like I, I didn't like it, that sequence at all. But the revelation of her getting pregnant, possibly. You know, that is a very interesting, that's the very first thing that happens in this, so we don't know. Um, we do have a really good engaging conversation between Rose and uh, Christina. And that was a very fascinating one because we don't know what Christina is trying to do. Uh, I'm sorry, not Rose, but Ruby. I'm not sure what she's trying to do with Ruby. Either way, um, there's another pretty decent scene. Um between Journey and uh, Wanami, which is good, but I think it could have went a little bit stronger. Didn't really, it was fleeting. I'm just saying that these sides, these this part of the arc, I think could have worked if they would have did it like this and positioned it, you know. Um, Hippolyta Freeman goes and unlocks whatever, it stops, episode stops for a second and then it goes and continues around revolving everybody else and then she goes she leaves and the very first thing you see at the end of this episode if it had been you know Hippolyta like in space and you have no idea actually why I think that that would have made this episode a little bit better because I think that this episode could have benefited from focus on the emotional distress that Atticus is in the emotional stress that Montrose is in their inadequacies in the way that they deceived, they deceived their own cousin, lied to her straight up with the death of Uncle George and focused and honed that. Like them focusing on like their thoughts on Uncle George and you know, what, what was the in-between? Like did Uncle George know um, about Montrose? Like did, you know, what, what other things are actually happening that we just didn't know? And I think that could have been a very powerful thing. Even like just Letty and Ruby, you know, having fallen out and what Ruby's doing and the consequence behind that. And maybe Ruby going into a dialogue about like a new relationship she's in. She has no idea what to do with it uh, because the person maybe is Caucasian or something like that. Like it's so many different ways this could have been written better. And it again, I think that should have been the core focus of this and then stop and then leave off if you want to go and have this tangent kind of episode, you know, kind of like what they did with last week's. Now, this is the rest that I did not like. <laughs> didn't like. Didn't like. 
And this is, I mean, shouts out to uh, to Ellis, but they had me intrigued, you know, when she got to the spot. And it's even more weird that she saw some woman, some black woman on a motorcycle. I was like, yo, she in the, she in the present day right now? There was even a moment with the cops where, like, I was like, I swear I wouldn't be able to distinguish these cops from present day cops, other than hat. Like, they didn't even the attire looks like it's present day. Either way, um, everything from the point that she's on the alien ship and she gets there and she sees these things in her arm, after that, the movie, the show just goes, I don't know what the show is trying to do. Um, it felt like, you know, some some moments where it felt agenda based and it was kind of like forcing down a perspective on something um, versus like self discovery and actualization and understanding uh, a character's progression to this point and taking responsibility for it, owning up to things, but at the same time grieving over like their life or their situation, not just the husband. And what they do with Apollo, I just, I don't know, man. It, for me, I was kind of just like, <laughs> after, you know, she got done dancing and it went to like a war sequence, I was like, yeah, they threw this out the door. I, I don't know what they were trying to do. And it, it comes off very gimmicky. I think that certain CG works in certain places uh, where I honestly didn't think it would. But in terms of the way that this was actually presented and done, as far as an episode, with everything with this specific art being the overlying feature, especially, especially, oh my gosh, the last 10 minutes. The last 10 minutes did several different things that I didn't like. One, they found a way of making Atticus a, a jerk of a character yet again, uh, made him look bad. Um, it just felt silly didn't seem not just believable but it, it was no practicality of me even caring um and they splashed this all on the green screen with, again where some cg to me really does work very strongly but a majority of it i was just like i don't know what is going on and and i think it's hard because there is a bit of women empowerment and self-discovery self-understanding as a black woman what that actually means um, but they really don't go for it. Matter of fact, it actually comes very more demeaning to me. Um, but yeah, that's all I got, man. I, cause I, I could talk for days about negative stuff. Um, I'll wait and leave that for this full discussion. Okay. Keep it locked. JVS, wait and stop. Peace guys.